It has been three weeks since a deadly plane crash killing a Valley pilot. A Mesa couple survived, but they are fighting for their lives. This is 3TV News at 9. Hi, folks. I'm Beverly Kidd. Jared Dillingham caught up with the family members at the hospital tonight for an update. Jared. And Bev, family members visit several times a day, but Stephanie and Christian Nielsen can't really move or talk, so they're not well enough to see the people they really miss the most, their four children. The Nielsen's 27-year-old Stephanie and 29-year-old Christian shared everything together, including Christian's love of flying. So it's difficult for family members to see them kept apart in separate hospital rooms for the last three weeks as their bodies struggle to heal in the burn unit. It does change day by day. Today wasn't a real good day, but it, it's, it's all right. Both suffered setbacks this week. Stephanie developed blood clots in her legs and lungs, and her skin grafts became infected and had to be replaced. Christian had to have a breathing tube put back in, and both are now heavily sedated. You can look at them and can't talk to them, and so sometimes the visits aren't very meaningful. Do you think he knows that you're there, that you come every day? I think so. But the couple's four young children have not been to visit. For now, they're living with Stephanie's family in Utah. They've told the children that maybe by Christmas they would see their mom and dad. But it's impossible to know for sure. And Christian's parents say they'll continue their daily trips to visit their son, who'd wanted to fly since he was a little boy. He ate bird seed. And I said, why are you eating bird seed? And he said, because I want to fly. <laughs> so. Do you think he'll fly again? And I, I doubt it. I hope not. <laughs> Healthcare costs for the Nielsen's are expected to soar into the millions of dollars. So Mesa High School is trying to help out. They're planning a fundraiser. It's next Wednesday night, and you can find all the details on our website, acfamily.com. Jared Dillingham, 3TV, the place with more news.